What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys a photo viewer and organizer for your Linux operating system. So let's get to it. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys another photo viewer and organizer that I recommend you guys check out on your Linux operating system. And this application is called Shotwell. And I recently found out about it. I started using it on my main system and it's an awesome photo viewer. And I really like it. It's like super dope. You know what I'm saying? Because you can do some editing in it. Uh, just some basic editing. Of course, if you want to do some more advanced editing, you might want to get GIMP. But Shotwell handles some of the basic tasks for you. You know what I'm saying? When working with all your different photos that you have on your system. So let's hop over to my virtual machine so I can show you guys how to install Shotwell and how to actually use it. So let's get started. Also, before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ as the official supporter of Rocky Linux, which I think is one of the best replacements for your CentOS server. If you haven't been paying attention, Red Hat announced in 2021, it will be going away with CentOS as the downstream clone for Red Hat and Rocky Linux is here to pick up the pieces. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, cool. So I'll show you guys Shotwell on Fedora. This is Fedora 35. Uh, it's the latest version of Fedora. Uh, and let's go on and install Shotwell right fast. And as you can see, uh, let me show you this right fast, but the photo editor that's on here, I mean, not photo editor, but photo viewer is image viewer. Uh, I'm not sure about this application. Actually, let's go to about image viewer just to see what it is. Yeah, it's a gnome. Uh, yeah, I remember this uh, application, but it's gnome image viewer. So let's close that. Uh, you can actually remove that once you add shot well to your system or you can leave it on. It's all good. They'll, you know, play well together. You know what I'm saying? The other one is a viewer. You just want to select whatever, whichever application you want to use as default for your images as Shotwell if you want to use Shotwell. Now just to add a little more about Shotwell, Shotwell basically uses all the same formats as pretty much all other photo viewers use like PNGs, uh, JPEGs, you can also open up TIFFs and it also organizes your photos and it creates a small database that manages all the files you know from the, from the actual source files. So let's go on and um, install it right fast. Let's open up the terminal. And the first thing you wanna do is update your system. And let's uh, zoom this thing in. So you guys can see what I'm typing into the terminal. Uh, let's move it back up right there. But the way to update in Fedora is simply sudo DNF. And then we can type upgrade and press enter. And that'll, you know, check for, uh, It'll refresh the repository, check for uh, updates, and then update the system if need be. And as you can see, we didn't have any updates for the system. So let's go down and install Shotwell. And the command to do it is simply sudo dnf install and then Shotwell. And it's spelled just like it's uh, said. So Shotwell, press enter. And it'll go through, find that package for us. Just type Y for yes. It'll download that package and then install it on the system. Uh, and it doesn't come on Fedora by default, but I believe I've seen it in the latest version of Ubuntu 22.04. That's what reminded me of this application and made me want to do a video on it right fast and just show it on a different desktop environment but you can you can install it on all other distributions it's available it's in the main repositories of pretty much all the different distributions i've installed it on uh orch linux which is my daily driver so it's in the repository for orch as well so you good to go now that we have it installed let's go down and uh open up the application i'm gonna just exit out the terminal and one thing i wanted to do before i actually open the application is open up the file explorer and i put a bunch of test photos in here because i didn't want to uh, show you guys any of my personal photos but i grabbed a whole bunch of test photos 
from online and they're JPEGs. So we can have something to actually look at in the application. Uh, but I think I got about 59, yeah, 59 photos in here. So we'll be good to go. It'll be able to scan it and uh, show us the information about each photo. And it may not show right, because like I said, these, this stuff is randomized, the photos that I downloaded. But it'll have, we at least have something to see when we open up the application. Because the first thing it does is scans your photo directory. And I wanted to show you guys that in a second. It says, uh, welcome to Shotwell. Now you can click this uh, off, but I recommend you leave it on. But this is a pop-up. It basically says import photos from your pictures folder. Uh, you can also import photos in other ways. You can go file, import from a folder or drag and drop photos in the Shotwell window. And then also another feature is you can connect a camera to your computer and it will import. Now let's go down and press OK. This is something you want to do like the first time around. And then you can refresh it as you go or as you get more pictures. But as you can see, it's going through and importing all the pictures on my system. And it's looking within that photo directory. And yeah, it's going through and pretty quick and it's basically creating a small database. You'll see the uh, amount of time you have left down there. As you can see, it imported 59 photos successfully. So let's go through them right fast and see. And this is the last imported. So each time you import it, it'll refresh and show you the last imported pictures. So if I added some more photos and then did a manual uh, refresh or a manual import, this will show you the latest imported uh, pictures on the system. Now let's start up here at the top. I just wanna go through the menu a little bit, but this is how you import. You can import from folder, import from application. There's an export, uh, print, publish, send to, uh, set as desktop background. So you can mo modify your desktop environment using that, you know, setting one of the photos as the desktop background. You can also show the file manager so you can find out where a specific photo is. You can empty the trash and then quit. And then under edits, undo, redo, and that's if you make changes to the photos, uh, you'll you'll be able to undo, you know, redo, and you can find. Uh, and one thing about it right now, since I'm using some random pictures offline, sample pictures, it's not gonna give us all the organization that it typically does. When I did it on my personal fo uh, pictures, it organized them a whole lot better. It it broke down uh, the dates of everything. And it's super cool how it actually does it, but you could find, you could probably find by date, uh, save searches, remove from library, move to trash, duplicates. So you can find duplicates on the system. Uh, so that's super cool. Uh, select all preferences now view uh, this is the basic information uh, view uh, they do have a extended information search bar if you want to add that up there titles comments uh, sidebar toolbar filters you know uh, sort photos so you can sort the photos by a specific uh, filter uh, well filter them as well and then you can sort your events as well and I'll show you guys the events spot as well and that's where your photos are set up by dates and it also breaks it down to the month you know of when the photo was actually taken like i said this is an awesome photo viewer you know what i'm saying it's a lot of features but you can go into full screen slideshow mode uh then here is some of your photo editing so if you have uh pictures that are you know, can't can it to the right or something or can it to the left. You can rotate them to fix them. You can flip horizontally, virtually enhance uh, color uh, adjustments. That's copying it, revert to original. So that's great that you have that option. You know, you just click revert. And I'll show you guys that when we start clicking on the images, you'll see the options pop up down here. But uh, you can set the ratings, developer, um, Let's see, open external editor, open with raw editor and play. Then you got events, tags, uh, and help. And let's look at the version that this is right now. So a 0 0.31.3 uh, photo manager. So Shotwell, it, that's the version that we have right now, at least in the Infodora's repository. Now let's look on the left-hand side. This is kind of like a, a little mini uh, explore or whatever. But uh, you got your library, but you got photos, then your last import 
uh, and you know they're gonna show pretty much the same uh, except photos will show everything that you have in there but since our last import included all of the pictures then that's why it's showing pretty much the same now y'all say your trash button bucket right there and then events now this is the one of the cool parts and it won't show any events because none of the stuff is broken up by dates which a lot of my personal photos were shown by dates uh, but it was separated all out by date and you'll see a whole bunch of folders in here with the year and then if you expand the year it'll show all the months of that year so all your photos you know will be shown like that then right there it says no events so you can add these two events if you need to uh now if we go to import so this shows you the last time it was imported the date and time uh and as you can see it's 10 10 15 p.m uh on the 23rd of april uh is when i actually did this so let's go photo folders and this is like really your explore your file explore this shows you the folders that are actually being scanned and and that basically shows you everything right there and if you right click on let's say one of the photos i just wanted to show you guys this uh but let's say you want to find out where this is and it could be like under uh, a folder within the pictures you know directory and it's kind of you got like thousands of pictures in here and you're trying to find it well you can just hit um show file manager that'll open up that file for you which is right here you know in my file explorer under pictures so we can go down and close that and now that we got one selected let's go down and um and show you guys some of the options that we have down here so if we click on it you have enhanced so you can enhance the photo if you want to i don't know if you guys seen a change uh and actually i should have did it here so let's revert this one back so revert back to original but that's what the original photo actually looked like and then hopefully this is recording this well enough to where you guys can see it but let's hit the enhance and it made some changes it basically brightened it up for us a little bit it actually looks a whole lot better you know that way um but like i said you can revert it back to the original and you're good to go now you have rotate crop straighten so you can crop crop the image so if you click crop uh you can specify what you want to crop uh you can move this thing around however you want to it's just like any other application but you know that allows you to crop some so let's say you only want that middle port uh, and i'll show you guys the crop feature let's move it around make it you know cool and if you look right here it's a little pop-up right here uh and they do have options in here you could change change it to something else unconstrained square screen original size uh, you can do SD video, uh, HD video, wallets, uh, the different sizes, whatever you want to do. So I just did square or I'm going to leave it on a default, which is square. But this is how you crop the image once you select the area that you want to crop. So you just hit crop. Boom. That cropped out exactly what I what I just had. So we can go revert to original. That way it'll remove that crop. We good to go. Now straighten. You can click on straighten. And this will allow you to adjust the angle of the image so let's say you want it and it'll zoom in kind of so if you want that that uh angle to be changed of the image uh then you know you can use that uh you can reset it back to zero uh, and hit cancel straighten you know if, once you're done and then red high red eye if uh you know you got some images with the red eyes you know sometimes the your your eye color will be red when you take certain pictures depending on the lighting and all that good stuff you can remove that and then adjust uh this is just some adjustment settings you can adjust your exposure contrast uh, saturation tint temperature shadows and highlights so let's hit cancel on that but that's a lot of editing that you could do for such a small application as well as the management of your photos so let's uh go back to the rest of them and just look at some more uh i'm not gonna 
show you much more i just wanted to show you kind of what you could do uh you could double click on the photos and it'll make them big that was one other option i wanted to show you guys so like did for instance if i want to open up this image i'll just double click on it it'll open it up make it big and let's say we want to push this one back down or you know open it back up where we can see all the other photos then you just double click on the photo and it'll go back it'll drop back down to the size where we can keep looking through the videos or looking through the pictures that are available to us now i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel go down and check out shotwell it's an awesome application for managing your photos and i use it on a daily basis for all my personal photos that i manage um, I even have my wedding photos that I use with this thing where well, I've done some editing editing that I want to show, you know, people some of my wedding photos as well as like pictures of, of different events, you know, with my kids and all that good stuff. Uh, I have used this to edit some of the photos. So super cool application. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. It's very simple to use. It's not hard like GIMP or anything to do. Just some basic editing in order to get your photos looking a little better uh, before you share them with family or friends or whatever. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techie.